The whole environment changed for me, the new information came in, and I thought the best way was to put into question memory and what I knew. And if I can try to reinterpret technique the painting process, the way I observe, to even give form to new objects that never existed, that will follow the flow of nature. The materiality involved in the process is as important as the thoughts and the order. Looking at the qualities also of my tools, the palette knife, the metal with the wood and the extension that is a brush, the oil which is carrying these minerals as pigments, they sometimes show as material and sometimes they disappear and become light and become shadows. Action and reaction is another important aspect of my work because one thing leads to another and everything has an effect upon the following object or space in this ecosystem that I'm creating. What is important to me is to create harmony within this space. Every day when I approach the painting, I take a fresh mentality towards it. I look at it and guide my elements towards more harmonious interaction with the rest. I can also get in their way. I realize that the moment I decide stuff, it can prevent that flow. And that's what I'm always paying attention in my work to make it flow like nature. The brushwork can represent the energy that these individual objects and things carry with them. That energy can interact with other further objects and create a certain vibration. Each object, by receiving light, carries within a contained shadow. That shadow also will cast a shadow outside of itself. That shadow will in a way, remind that other object of the form of the one receiving the light and casting the shadow. So I play with this interaction also as the painting gets deeper into space, how things vanish as they get further, all this interaction of these elements in flow. So I look at the composition side to side, zigzags, up and down, as well as going mentally into the space and seeing if these objects would exist, how would they influence and react to the other. In my paintings, the dark parts are very important. In the dark areas, I try to bring some areas to the light to become more conscious. It's similar to the idea that Carl Jung proposed that there is a shadow in our being as part of the subconscious and it keeps influencing us if we are not aware of it. The shadow is about what we can see in them, not what we cannot see. I try to define the shadows to give them form, interesting touches, so that yes, they stay in the mass of darkness, but we have certain information and control over them. I've been able to explore with small formats as well as big, larger paintings. I think uh, the small ones, I can have more boldness and be more direct. And the big ones, I can do more details. It gives me space to do that. In each of these universes that I'm creating, I kind of experience a certain kind of big bang experience where all these elements start floating around at first, finding their order, finding their partners unifying and developing into bigger molecules and organisms. They start flowing in a certain rhythm. I go daily as a warm-up before work for a walk around the city or into the main museums here. And that gives me kind of fresh food as tools, as nutrients to add to my work. Every time I see my work, I see it differently. I start from a certain point and it flows in a different way. And I think that's the way to see my art, to always stay open to the experience and be guided by these effects of colors that after all is all we have in nature too. That gives us the chance to also practice a type of meditation because that way we can experience the present and forget about the memories of recognition and experience the painting for what it is, for what is moving. And that is kind of an exercise to living the moment. These works around me are the result of a year of this investigation. And finally, they're gonna be exhibited for the first time in Milano at Robin and Buena Gallery, September 21st, 2023.